I'm Andrea Steed from Signs by Andrea and I'm going to show you how to customize my personal baseball scoreboard poster and I'll show you how easy it is and what you can do to make it perfect for you. So the first thing you'll do is come to my website and you'll just click on the image that you want. I'm going to use the larger version which is the 60 inch by 40 inch scoreboard poster. So I'm just going to click on that and that's going to take me over to the Zazzle website which is the company that does my printing and processing. So first, once you get over here, you're going to want to change the text to customize it for what you want. You can change several of the different um, fields, including the home team. You can change that to a team name if you'd like. Same with visitors. Of course, the title um, you can change to whatever you want. Um, you can even change from field you can change it to park or ballpark or whatever whatever you're interested in. So I'm going to leave home and visitors the same because I want to leave those kind of generic and then I'm going to change the title. So that's right here where it says name your ballpark and I'm going to make it Steed Field. And you can add a few spaces in between your name and the field or park or whatever you choose and that will give you some space to put your baseball in the center. So you can see up here that it's changed. I'm actually going to add one more space to give me a little more room. Oops, I put it in the wrong place. There we go, right in the middle. Okay, and that looks pretty good for now. I may go and increase the font size on that once we customize it some more, and that will make it fill up that space a little better since Steed is a shorter name. So next we'll do the score. And we'll start with the visitor score. I'm going to use, um, this is for my nephew, so I'm going to use his birthday, which is September 22nd, 2004. So you can have as many as 10 numbers in this, but you don't need to fill out every number if you don't want to, and in fact, I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is just ch take, come right here and change the numbers to 0, 9, and I'm actually going to add a 0 in between the date for the month and the day, just to make it a little more interesting. And then I'm going to delete the rest of these numbers. Now you'll see if you end up deleting some things that you just need to make sure that there are two spaces between the numbers to make sure that they line up correctly. For the home score, I'm going to use the year he was born, so we're going to make that 2004. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the rest of the numbers. So what that ends up giving me is five innings on the top and four innings on the bottom, which means they're in the middle of a game, which is kind of a neat way to personalize it. Okay, so that's as much as we can do right here. Now we're going to click on this Customize It button in order to move that baseball, which is obviously not in the right place. So we're going to click on Customize It. And I actually, you know, I had mentioned this before that I wanted to make that Steed Field title a little bigger. And to do that, you just click on that text right here and then this you could change the font if you wanted to here. I'm just going to change the font size. Let's see if 19 works for me. Yes it does. And now I need to move my baseball. So I'm going to click on the baseball image right here or you can click on it up here. Move it over and you can actually enlarge it if you'd like as well, which I do. We'll center it. Now what you see on this preview is what's going to print, so make sure that everything is lined up exactly how you want it before you order. I think we can go a little bigger on that baseball. There we go. Okay, now the next thing that you can do if you'd like is change the background color. To do that, you click on this edit button and go down to this square here that says background. This is very important. If you think you may want to go back to the green, copy this number. So I'm just going to copy that because I may need to go back to it. And it's not one of the standard colors on Zazzle's sheet. So, but in the meantime, you can once you've copied that, you can check out some other colors and see if you like it better to match your room, like blue or red or gray would make a nice background color as well. But we're going to go back to the green, so I'm going to just highlight that and then paste in what I had, the green, okay, and then when you click off of that, it will go back. Okay, so there we go. I am ready 
to order my poster. What you can also do at this point is you can change the paper type. Um, I've had it printed on just the value poster paper, which is a matte finish, and that works out just fine. It looks great. The semi-gloss paper will give it a little more of a shine. The archival heavyweight paper, um, you can read the, read the description here. It's great for more higher quality um, fade resistant posters. Or you can have it printed on the canvas, which looks really neat too. It's a real heavy duty canvas. It is not a stretched canvas. It's just flat, so it comes to you rolled. So you will want to frame it or mount it to something. Um, but that's also a great texture to put up. We're just going to stick with the value poster paper. That'll be fine. You can also add a frame if you'd like. And this is where you do that. And you just click on this and it'll look for different frames for you. Um, and then it will come to you already framed and you can have it matted if you like, but all that will um, be shipped right to you, which is great because then you don't have to go looking for a frame. But you can see here, you can change the styles. There's white, there's black, there's metal, there's all kinds of different things that you can choose from that. Okay? So we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to get the standard basic poster on regular paper, and then you just add it to your cart. And that's all.